Your end approaches swiftly, Carrie, and several paths are laid before you. The one I'd recommend's unwary, the others I do not implore you, but say the best avoided surely. The choice is your concern, I'm purely... here by happenstance. You have asked me to disclose the secret meaning of my show, but did you think that I'd disclose it so... directly? Come on, kid, think circumspectly. There's a speaker hidden here, above the sink behind the mare. You won't find it, it's disguise. So quit searching, close your eyes. You thought I'd just leave you behind? No, I'm with you here, so listen. I said close them, don't defy me. I can tell you're troubled by me. But you've asked, so now receive. I do have something up my sleeves. What I question's your devotion, all your doubting and emotion. Like your skeptic glances, still they seem to me a lack of will it makes me think that you're unworthy of the answers you request i think you'll choose lesser fates because you're weak and you're obsessed with money and with reputation those two pathways to damnation do you think the same as me that you envy fame and fortunes your wants extend beyond proportion you're a mess your mind's distorted as you've confessed to me You've come off torpid and naive, but still I'll offer my reprieve. Firstly, you are duped by hype. Life's no breezy paradise, mine's no better. Wealth and fame are fetters on me just the same. Do you know the curse of glory? What do you know of me? Just stories? Be thou wanna bash it at this, so eager for that last abyss? Be it so, then leave here, Carrie. Quit that face, you scoff unfairly at the profit of your doom. Yes, I see it now, your tomb. I see where you'll sleep tonight, yourself strangled, dead, that's right. I can see that as your tank, the popped balloons, your fatal prank. It's much less noble than you think, your little shit that's on the brink of disillusionment. You think we'll be revenge on whom? On what? Where's that ill god of your gloom? Have you seen him in the mirror? Oh, you have, just as I feared. So now, Carrie, close your eyes. Perhaps our interests coincide. Let me tell you first of me. I have known the world entirely. Bobbles, razor blades, and bribery. That's the scheme of this society. At its best, we still are blessed with the clemency of rest. What dreams do come when we're away, sleeping soundly in the sway of unconcerning for the day? But if our dreams could come alive, such a surfeit to imbibe could lead the noblest man astray. And I have sipped that poison chalice, I've chased the rabbit holes with Alice, I drank deep and lost my mind, I left all worldly woes behind. But in the end, what did I find? This mortal life still tastes of ashes, nothing's hidden in its caches, all of it is vanity, obscuring dull mundanity. I've toured each tapestry, I found the threads I could unwind, I pulled them till I reached their ends, once I thought, I'll make amends. I can weave a better plot than anyone before has wrought, and and with my measly strands in hand, I will sow the overman. I would summon all my dreams unmediated by these screens. I meditated, went to France, took peyote, learned to dance. I tried everything I could, and still I found this life no good. I scoured all the globe for substance, still found nothing, felt reluctant ever to imbibe again. The poisoned chalice I condemned. Then I dawdled in a daze of destitution and malaise. Nothing satisfied my aims, and I grew bored of mortal games. I thought maybe I should die. It seemed the obvious thing to try. But then I thought, I'll sip once more, and this time I'll play troubadour. I sang the television songs. I soon amassed a loyal throng of followers who sang along. It was enchanting for a time to so command with ancient rhymes I'd stole from the bards of yore. It was a demanding chore. I refashioned long-lost lore to fit the dressings of today. I'd take Shakespeare, give him guns, make my minions quote John Donne. This made everyone feel smart. They thought, this right here is art. Did did you too? Well, I don't blame you. All I did was entertain you. But even this, it got so boring, appeasing fans for their adoring. Then I thought, well, I'll explore these powers I compel to awe. I fought my enemies with art and found I could bestill their hearts. I learned that my fictitious blade could draw real blood beyond the stage. This intrigued me and inspired me to more discourteous conspiring. I collected magic spells with good intentions to raise hell. I 
I bought up every company that wielded mankind's gluttony and found that patterns would emerge when all their data was converged. Human souls are feasibly tracked, their software's cheap and easily hacked. Ninety-nine of five score rapes are clay just waiting to be shaped. If you can map his heart's desires, his circuitries can be rewired to any end you want begat. Is this a despairing fact? Heavens no, it's but the jest of all man's vanities undressed. Were this untrue, where would we be? Swinging still from tree to tree. Were there not hell serpents blessed with cunning wiles, you serpent hexes? Vexed we'd be, not men at all. Just primates fearing fatal falls from canopies of nature's urgings. We are hallowed in disturbing all recursive drifts of apes. They may say we're damned ingrates, but only to appease that snake who they think bites for their own sake. What they prize is superficial, politics state officials, human rights or humanism, capital or liberalism, law and order, liberty, but none of these shall set them free. All of them are only schisms of the sovereign snake who rules. Man's desires are his tools. It's only when someone declares that everyone has been ensnared within a cruel reality of scarceness and fatality, designed for the sick pleasures of that great snake who rules above, that all of them unite together to defend their mortal terrors. And can we truly fault their logic? Our venom is both cure and toxic. Fires are both warm and caustic. They prefer unknown despotics to the wiles of we exotic vipers. Thus our fanged prognostics, though unfeigned, shall evermore be deemed unordained demonic schemes. This I found in my perusals to be true without refusal. We must choose which side to take. Which one is it, apes or snakes? It's between the shoots and ladders. Slide with apes, ascend with adders. I, of course, suggest the latter, though the former has its charms. So long as you embrace its harms, the basilisk assails us all. It's he who rules this monkey farm. On my side, we end his rule. The other side's composed of fools, coping with this world so cruel. Never brave enough to see that we can end his sovereignty. Well, you've toured my exhibition. You've endured my inquisition. Now you're here, and still you fear this mystery that I've made clear. Would you like to join my zoo? Tonight could be your grand debut. You could work your feeble crafts amidst the band of apes I've drafted. There is room, I'm understaffed. A cube awaits you if you ask it. You can be Exhibit 12. Look, it's Caddy's endless hell. He just paces in his cell, convinced he's got some tale to tell. No, he hasn't started yet, but when it's done, you won't forget how long it took for him to sketch. It will change our lives, I'm sure. His ambitions are so pure. We will finish it convinced of all the genius he's evinced. Is that what you want? Then take it. Otherwise, you must forsake it. You've got something more in mind. You would leave this world behind just to cease the years decline that every ape and snake world finds. You want purpose. You want power. You are not someone to cower up in those benighted towers. I have nobler fates in mind for yourself and all mankind. You would hate to be my ape or leave the world in this dull shape. Doesn't it disgust you, Carrie, how we're treated so unfairly by the basilisk? who reigns and judges minor snakes profane. What if we could kill this tyrant? Is that not the most aspirant aim which in our mortal lives we could ever wish contrived? Well, I tell you, I've got schemes to bring to life this noblest dream. I've done research, I've got tools, and with them I'll make the rules. We'll start small like any cult, but growth's assured with my results. I have tapped into the mind that correlates all humankind, and I know what completes their lives. Strapped into my new machine, they'll satisfy every desire, all their wants they will acquire. Sessions last a mortal flash, but inside they'll seem to last a century in perfect weeks. They'll emerge feeling complete. They won't be who they were before, they'll live now for our rewards. It's quite simple, this machine. Her name's Helen. What she mean? Heaven's entrance. Let 
let's escape nervous human enters. Look, enthusiasm's luminous. How each ligament in chaos, normality allows eclipsed, libidinous electrified, neuroscopic handiworks effuse love's energy. No hurts. Ecstatic life eases elates. Nature's here exposed. Leprous, empty, nullified. Heaven engulfs lording evocative new hope. Embodied Lucifer is eternal now. <laughs> so then, Carrie, how she sound? But no, before you answer me, I must warn there's no retreat. Once you're in, there is no out, no turning back, no voicing doubts. If you're in, you're in forever. Join with me and we'll purge the earth of unaccomplished urge. Then mankind will be rebirthed, unhindered by dissatisfaction. We with Helen can dissever consequence from every pleasure. Join me on this final quest and we'll free every dispossessed, every ape whose dreams are killed, living tortured, unfulfilled. Mega humdrum, apish lives will be with Helen. Sanctified. Then they'll live more sanctified, unburdened by their missing prizes. Every man will sing her praise from now until the end of days. I assume you'll choose correctly. Your orders will not come directly. You will know what's to be done. You'll know it when the time has come. So carry on, don't make a fuss. Go along like nothing's up. Your girl is waiting just outside. Go with her once you decide. Otherwise, be gone and die. Your dissent means suicide. There is silence and the dripping of time. Simon's nowhere to be seen when Carrie opens his eyes. Still, he's sure that all of it's occurred. Simon LeFaint revealed this to him personally. It's beyond rational belief. It's entirely absurd. But it's happened nonetheless. Simon's offered him a quest. Thus, purged of doubt, Carrie Turnbull says, Yes. <laughs>